My brother Mike just passed away a few days ago. So I thought it was about time that uh, I do this video for you guys, dedicate this video to Mike, because he is the first one who's ever told me this little tip, this little trick. He's not so much of a small engine guy like we are. He's an automotive guy. He's a car guy. He fits hundreds of vehicles in his life. And he told me years ago what he uses for penetrating fluid, penetrating oil to unseize frozen bolts, frozen rusted stuck nuts and bolts from what he does. I didn't actually pay too much attention back then until about a year ago I started playing with this and experimenting with this and he was absolutely right to this day I've never found another penetrating fluid that works as well as this does so he shared that tip with me I'm gonna share it with you guys now our mom always told us to share hi mom Everybody, thanks for coming back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. .com. There's my website right there. If you want to check it out, check that out. What you need for doing this is that you need a bottle of ATF, automatic transmission fluid. You need a bottle of acetone, and you need a container to mix the two together in. And you also need a beer, but you can use any beer you want. I'm going to show you how that works in a second. So what we're going to do is uh, mix these two components, your ATF and, and your acetone together at a ratio of 50-50. So half and half. There's your ATF. We put that in there. Acetone. Be careful with acetone, it eats through a lot of stuff, so be careful when you're actually using this stuff. There's 50% acetone right there, pour that in. And now what we gotta do is our beer. We do this. That's how you use the beer. That's why I said you can use whatever you want. Now what we have to do is mix that together. Shake it up in there like that, and it's, it instantly mixes together. If this was a glass container, you would actually see that a lot better. And now it's ready to use. Boom. You'd take that and you drip a little bit of that like that onto a frozen nut or a frozen bolt. And I'm not kidding you guys. You will actually see that suck right down into the threads. Even if it's completely rusted and corroded, you will see that solution actually draw itself right down into those threads, right in front of your eyes. It's actually pretty amazing to watch. What I usually do is put a few drops on and watch it suck down, a few more drops, a few more drops. And then I usually wait a couple minutes. I don't know if you need to, but every time I've tried this, I do that and that nut turns off with, with no problem at all. Sometimes it's a little squeaky when it starts to move. Put a couple more drops on there and boom, that's coming off. It's incredible. A couple notes though on the container that you're using. I know a lot of you are gonna go, hey, that's a plastic container. Acetone eats right through plastic. You're absolutely right. It does eat through a lot of different plastics. This one right here, I just lucked out on this one. It's a little oil can, and I've had no problem with the acetone eating through that. But if you guys are going out to buy a container to, to do this, pick a, a, a glass one or a metal one, and you'll be just fine. The other thing is your container needs to be sealed. Acetone evaporates so fast that if I didn't have this little cap on here right there, and I, I mix that together within... I'll bet you within two or three days, all the acetone would evaporate out of there and you'd have nothing left in there but ATF, automatic transmission fluid anyway. So make sure that you're getting a sealed container so you can store that where the acetone's not going to evaporate out of there. This stuff does separate too, you guys. Every time, make it a force of habit. You have that in storage, you have that up on your shelf, 
you want to use it again it's already separated make sure that you just give it a quick shake a quick stir before you actually drip that on to combine those two components together again i think that you are going to be extremely impressed with the results if you do this five bucks for atf five bucks for a acetone you can buy that at any hardware store ten bucks that is a heck of a lot of uh of penetrating fluid that you can make out of this for ten dollars so hey i know that some of you guys might have other homemade recipes out there for penetrating fluid put some comments right down underneath this video tell us what you guys use or maybe you guys like some of that commercial stuff like uh, a lot of you guys are probably going to be saying that uh, sea foam deep creep works good yeah i agree i've used it it does work good it doesn't work as good as this if you do have some comments put them down subscribe to my channel if you already haven't give me that thumbs up button guys i'm trying to save you guys some money share this with your friends and i got some heineken right here 0.0 percent alcohol because mike didn't drink this is the this is actually the best non-alcoholic beer that i've ever had too this was his favorite so till we see each other again on the next video guys this one's to you, Mike. Steve out.